Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I would like to talk about the Weather Zero program, an unwanted application that you may have noticed in the system. It may look like just a weather widget, but is in fact a shell around a wishes malware. In this video, I will explain what's wrong with Weather Zero, how it appeared, what are the dangers of this app, and how to remove it. So, let's begin with finding out what Weather Zero is. On paper, it is an innocent weather monitoring app that allegedly allows people to see weather forecasts in real time. Thing is, I was not able to run the program under any circumstances. It was either failing to install or having problems with network connectivity, despite the latter being completely OK. Behavior analyzers on several major analysis platforms uncover some really disturbing things. First of all, the problems that I've just mentioned are due to the multi-layer anti-VM protection. Malware commonly uses this trick to avoid analysis and early detection, but why would a simple utility do this? The answer is, it is not a simple utility. Long story short, Weather Zero is in fact a drop of malware. There are quite a few concerning things that this program does in the system. First, it collects some basic information about the computer. Nothing really personalized, but enough to distinguish one system from another. That is a typical fingerprinted behavior that malware usually exhibits. But afterwards, it loads several deeply packed DLL files and runs them with maximum privileges. As the installer requests administrator privileges when it runs, all the further manipulations do not require any confirmations from the user and do not even trigger UHC windows. After executing those DLL files, Weather Zero keeps connecting to a remote server, showing some strange activity. As I said earlier, this is a behavior you would normally expect from dropper malware. But nonetheless, it is not what you'd see in the majority of other malware of this kind. It looks as if this dropper was used in either a targeted manner or being a small batch product which operates in a different manner in each attack. Key danger of dropper malware is that it can inject any other malware to the system. Ransomware, spyware, backdoors, everything depends on who pays, because the malware can operate with them all. And, well, you will not like experiencing your system being infected with all this malware. Spreading ways of this nasty thing are pretty common. It typically gets into systems as a part of software bundle. Simply put, this is when you download a program and several other apps piggyback on it and install without your consent. Such a trick is widely used by the developers of free programs and software pirates, so they are actually paid for their job. Users on Reddit talk about Weather Zero being incorporated into cheat engines, together with several other unwanted apps. With that being said, let's move on to the removal. It is a rather bad idea to try removing all this manually. Modern malware does a lot of tricks to make this approach useless, and it is also pretty easy to miss one or several malicious programs, as you never know how much of them are present. For that reason, I recommend using Grid and Soft and Die Malware. Its multi-component detection system will detect both the weather zero and all the malicious stuff it could have brought to the moment. Run a full scan to check the entire system, including hidden folders and system files. It will take up to 15 minutes. After the scan, click Clean Out to remove the threats. This includes getting through all the elements that malicious programs have changed, so this process may take some time. Now the system is clean. Good luck and stay safe online.